Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Netflix viewers have been urged to avoid Joe Rogan's stand-up special at all costs after horrifying with bigoted material. During his third show for the streamer Burn the Boat, Rogan, 56, made jokes about trans people and gay men, saying that he wouldn't want to be surrounded by the latter. The routine has outraged Netflix fans on X with that Josh Eagle warning others to avoid at all costs. They wrote, Rogan is a testament to the dangers of going down the red pill rabbit hole. Avoid at all costs. It rots your brain. Echoing their sentiment, at Adam Canal said, thoughtful comedy viewer, it is impossible to imagine transphobic material more straightforward and s asterisk 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 why than Chappelle's. Joe Rogan, hold my brain. At Vertigo Theater P commented, no part of it Joe Rogan is funny, his Netflix stand-up is just outdated COVID jokes, trans jokes, and gay jokes. I swear people around him keep telling him he's funny. Hashtag burnt boats, hashtag Netflix. To view this video, please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. At MetaWorld Steve also added, as expected, Joe Rogan's new special is essentially a Trump rally, hitting all the right-wing bigot talking points. At fake underscore Biden, who has dodged Rogan's work, advised viewers, I'm very glad to say I have never listened to a single word Joe Rogan has said. Life is too short to give attention to idiots. IMHO in Burn the Boat, Rogan implied that America had been too accepting of trans people, after he made references to pregnant men and claiming he was open-minded. He said, I just want to know what happened. It's almost like a pervert wizard waved a magic spell on the whole world. With a wave of this wand, you can walk into the women's locker EM with a hard cock, and anybody who complains is a Nazi, and it just works. And everyone just accepts this new reality and it's f asterisk 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 ing weird. I just think we need standards. You can't just put lipstick on, and now you can s asterisk 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 in the women's room. Rogan also turned his attention to gay men and said, I love gay men. But I think about gay men the same way I think about mountain lions. I'm happy they're real, but I don't want to be surrounded by them. They're a bunch of dudes who fuck dudes. I don't like my chances, okay? The American star has long been at the center of controversy online with his podcast, which has released more than 2,200 episodes, previously criticized for spreading misinformation about COVID-19. In 2022, several high-profile musicians, such as Neil Young and Joni Mitchell, pulled their songs from Spotify, where Rogan's pod is platformed, in a boycott against his anti-vax rhetoric. As expected, Joe Regana's new special is essentially a Trump rally, hitting all the right-wing bigot talking points. I am very glad to say I have never listened to a single word Joe Rogan has said. Life is too short to give attention to idiots. IMHO HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash s 2 vm 2 qhv hertz. No part of it Joe Rogan is funny, his Netflix stand-up is just outdated COVID jokes, trans jokes, and gay jokes. I swear people around him keep telling him he's funny. Hashtag burnt boats, hashtag Netflix. Joe Rogan, we lost a lot of people during COVID, and most are still alive. I don't think we went to the moon. Rogan is a testament to the dangers of going down the red pill rabbit hole. Avoid at all costs. It rots your brain. PIC.twitter.com slash 4ACVIPISDQ. This prompted Rogan to deny intentionally spreading misinformation as he vowed to try to balance out these more controversial viewpoints with other people's perspectives, agreeing with a disclaimer being placed at the beginning of his videos. Streaming service Spotify also removed a number of episodes from the Joe Rogan experience, which launched in 2009, after he was found to have used racial slurs in recordings. Most recently, Rogan was slammed after he took aim at Algerian boxer Amin Khalif who earned her first-ever Olympic boxing medal on Saturday. Khalif's participation in Paris has been met with controversy after she was disqualified from the Women's World Championships last year for failing International Boxing Association, IBA, gender eligibility rules. The 25-year-old has always competed in the women's boxing division and has identified as female since birth and the International Olympics Committee, IOC, 
has confirmed that Khalif is biologically female, a spokesperson for.